Okay, now continuing, I'm still using the pencil tool to create some of these more complex curves. And I have it set not at the very smoothest, but close to it. And then I use the other defaults. Oops. So honestly, the hardest thing to do with a pencil tool is just a clean straight. It's pretty good at curves. But you see how these straights are not quite straight. So then what you often have to do is go in with the small selection tool. And turn them into straights by pulling the handles in. You can also just merge one anchor with another anchor, which can be incredibly helpful. Make sure you get all the handles in. Okay. And then I need to figure out where this curve is coming from, which I don't want. Even that up. Okay, good. And then to fill it, I just use that little shortcut. So fill with black, no stroke. And then I turn off my sketch layer, you know, just to see how it's working as a, a single color logo. And I squint, and yeah, everything's reading pretty well. Now, what if I want this hole that I cut into it to be smaller? Well, the beauty of the pencil tool is I can go back to it hold down command and select it all so I see the anchor points and then I can actually redraw it. So I can make it smaller as long as I start and end through anchor points that already exist. So refining is pretty easy as well. Because remember, this is all just cut out. And so I can ask myself, do I like that better? Or do I like that better? And I think I like shift command. I think I like that better. All right, next. These things, which are a little bit harder. Um, pen tool with a lot of straights. So this arm starts with a curve. And set the curve. Then I can find the straights and then go back to the curves. Keep them shallow. Then go to the straights, maybe a slight curve, and close it up with a curve. There we go. Got an extra anchor point in there somewhere. Not that one, though. Oh, I want that curve. Don't want this one. And then this one I want to change. Remember, once you use command and the small, you can adjust each handle separately. And then what if I want to round this one out? I can bring out that curve a little bit more. That's a little nicer. I'm a little worried about how close that is. So let me trim it up. 
And I can do that by holding down Command and moving these anchor points up, up and out. Up and out. It's giving a little bit more space. Maybe playing with this curve, squaring it out. All right, that's looking better. Same thing with these. Can't quite copy paste them. But I can be a little bit more controlled with them. Like so. Then I might need to add an anchor. There we go. And so it's very different than the pencil tool. Pencil tool, if I redraw it, it's going to add more, but it's going to be more sensitive to exactly what I put down. So it just depends what you're going for. And like I said, the pencil tool is better for my way of making logos in general than, um, than the pen tool. But I don't do a lot of really geometric logos. Like that. So I'm going to start with the pen tool again to get these straights. Get the rounds. Round, round. Get the straight. And with the round. And then I'll use the pencil tool to kind of clean it up in the areas that require a little bit more subtlety. And I can do it little by little. And command gets you back to that small selection tool. Actually with the pencil tool, command gets you back to whatever the last selection tool you used was. Put this one up a little bit more. Whoops. Remember, you can always do Command Z, go back as many steps as you want. It's one way Illustrator is different than Photoshop. Oh, it's hard to know what's just right. I like that. And then this one, I think I want it a little bit more rounded. Use the pencil tool. Yes. Okay, good. So far, so good. Now the pitchfork. Now the pitchfork is an interesting thing, and I like that it's in the design because it is a symmetrical object that is at an angle, right? And it I want it to be symmetrical, and I didn't draw it perfectly symmetrical. So what can I do, <laughs> right? So this is tricky. This is what I can do. I'm going to make it on a new layer. And I'm going to try to draw it with the pencil tool. It's going to have orange anchors, so you can see it pretty clearly. I'm going to draw it with the pencil tool, but really just draw past halfway. You'll see what I mean. So just drawing past halfway. Hmm. Oh, shoot. I was on the wrong layer that whole time. You have to be on a layer that's unlocked. Let 
and go past halfway, but not all the way to the other side. Make sure it closes off. You see that did a nice job kind of cleaning it up for me, but it oversimplified here. So I can correct that. And then I want to work on the point a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. And I think I want this to be pointier. All right, let's see how this works. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to take this. Yeah, that's nice. With the um, large selection tool, let me fill it with black. And I'm going to rotate it so that it's vertical. Right? And I can use my guides to show me what vertical is and find the half point. So there's my guide, right? And I can nudge it a little past that half point. Okay, now that I have, have it vertical and on the half point, I can clean it up a little bit more. So I'm gonna use the pen tool. I'm gonna get rid of this little divot. Make sure that that's lined up, good. And then I'm going to move these anchor points holding down command. I'm playing with the anchors when needed. And I'm going to line up all the anchors right on that. All the handles right on that line. It can help to zoom in. I can also delete some of these. And I can put the handles right on the guide, too. But remember, this is how you get symmetrical stuff, just like I did with the, the bull's head in the first logo solution. Okay, and it's fine if it goes over. Now this one I need to move down and out. All right, and then I need to push this back. Down and out. Okay, now I can select all of it. I can copy it, paste it in place, edit, paste in place. Then I can do object, reflect, transform, reflect, 90 degrees, vertical, hold down shift. Whoops, need the large selection tool. Come on, hold down shift move it, put it with the guide, nudge it in with the arrows until it overlaps fully. I think it's almost there. It's a little tricky at this very tippy tip point. Let's call that close enough. Oh, let's just make it a little narrow. That looks good. I'll clean up the point later. Yeah, I think that's what I'm looking for. Okay, now I'm going to select them both, use the Pathfinder, and merge them together. So now it's one shape. I can hide the guide, but I've got to work on this now. So where's the real middle? It's right there. So, I need to bring the point to there. So I use small selection tool. Actually, I can get rid of some of these anchor points. And then bring these handles down to a new point. 